Thank you. That was wonderful. Someone threw me a flower and I kicked it. Just a joke. Uh, would you have that pressed for me and put it in my copy of uh, Paradise Lost? How are you? <laughs> See, I want to get right to your cards because we have a whale of a show tonight. Indeed. A whale of a show? Do you get nervous before your show? <laughs> no, I'm too busy throwing up. And uh, I never... <laughs> that was a silly thing to say. Dear Mr. Cabot, why hasn't Paul Newman been on? I'm sorry, I was, I was late and I was running down here and I'm out of breath. <clears throat> why can't, uh, why hasn't Paul Newman been on and can I be your guest when he's on, Marsha Kimmel? <laughs> if I get Newman, what do I need with you? <laughs> why do you always kid Bob Rosengarden's warm up? He does the best one ever. This writing looks very familiar. <laughs> What do you know about Kokomo, Indiana? Hey. Listen, you're either Elizabeth Kimmel or you're from Kokomo, Indiana, but you can't be both, or whatever her name was. Kokomo, Indiana, the city of firsts. Why, of course it is. Who'd go back for seconds? <laughs> oh, thanks. Pelted. Pelted with flowers. I want to wear a mini skirt. Wait a minute. I wanted to wear a mini skirt made out of an American flag. Would it be blanked out? Sydney. Sydney? Sydney. No, no. <laughs> Sydney? No, oh, come on. Would it be blanked out? Where are you, Sydney? Oh. That's not all it'd be blanked out. Eh? <laughs> I, I can't really see it. Why does Rex Reed hate Barbara Streisand? We think she's great. Well, that's only one of the reasons. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he does, Phil. I don't think he does. Uh, we'll find out. Do you wear the... Shut up or sober up up there, would you please? I'm not in any mood to fool around. Do you wear the pants in your family? Yes. Especially if we're expecting company. Or... What goes through your mind? What goes through... I can't stop for laughter. What goes through your mind when you're doing the monologue? Um... If it's, if it's going great, I, I think what a wonderful business to be in. If it's not, I wonder how I suddenly got into the city library. Here's some startling information. If you stroke a cat a million times, you can generate enough electricity to light a light bulb. Well, that's very exciting. That's what they're doing at Con Ed all day, I guess. That's really quite, quite exciting. Thank you. Do you uh, wake up happy in the morning? No, he has his own alarm clock. Get it? You, you're trying to like me, aren't you? Do you always wear that beret and why? Yes, I'm, I never take this beret off. I, what beret? The Dutch cap. This is my hair. Huh? The Dutch cap that you wear. Oh, my cap. Oh, yeah. No, I, I always sometimes wear that and don't others. Do you select the gnats, the guests for the show? Uh, oh, how do you select the guests for the show? The usual sources. They come from all over. Show business and everywhere. People whose names are in the papers. And then, if, if you want a serious answer, um, agents submit people. If we're short one and we need an odd person on, the, what's known as the weirdo in the trade, we send someone walking down Broadway. <laughs> and um, they watch and see who pauses in front of those risque underwear stores. And... <laughs> Is that how we got some of you? Can you say hi? Can I say hi to the kids in a small township of Jersey called Pensaken? Can I say hi? Do I have to go there to do it? Oh, there's another one about Pensaken. Uh, let's see. What do you think of a person who drives all the way to New York from Connecticut to see you under pressure from his girlfriend? Uh, either you're very fond of your girlfriend or you're uh, ridiculously henpecked. Why don't you dress Rosengarden? What? I haven't finished. Why don't you dress Rosengarden the way Carson uh, dresses Severinsen? Well, uh, Rosengarden uh, is able to dress himself. <laughs> we have to go away. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. 